I know him very well. He is a colleague, a friend, and a man of intimate communion. This is the way everybody calls him. He is a well-known figure in the CBCI. So also, in the CCBI, the Latin Conference of Bishops, he plays an important role in many fields. So every bishop knows him closely and appreciates his way of behaving, behaving himself in these, in these uh, conferences. Archbishop Abraham has done very many good things in the church. He is a lover of the youth because of his initiative uh, to foster the youth apostolate. He was appointed by the Holy Father as chaplain of the movement of Jesus' youth. He is guiding them in the best way possible. He has uh, also an interreligious fellowship with men of different uh, religions and people of different cultures and of uh, political affiliations. Thereby, he becomes a man of dialogue. And this character of uh, Archbishop Abraham to be a man of dialogue has very much helped the CBCI and the CCBI to be in good relationship with uh, many people and also with the nation. And among uh, other Christian communities in his mind. And that has made him a great bishop. A man who is uh, looked upon almost as an ideal in the, in the lives of other bishops. Indeed, as bishops, we all journey a lot. And your presence in our journey is really enriching and soothing. Our journey is incomplete without little laughter and the joy that we shared. Yes, I can very well say that Archbishop Abraham is a man of joy and you are a profound witness of God's love. You are a man of great concern. Though we are very far, you show your love and concern towards my diocese, Punalu, Kerala. It shows that you are a person for all. Indian Church, as well as the youth in India, is very happy to have your grace, Archbishop Abraham, as a strong support in the journey of spreading the message of God's love. But what I have noted in him, uh, in Archbishop Abraham, is his wonderful ability to move and to be present anywhere where his presence was required. He has actually endeared himself to the priests, to the bishops and to the faithful by his way of being present anywhere on various occasions. His simplicity of life, his approachable nature and the way he has been moving around has been really inspiring to many of us. And I am sure he has been a friend to all. I know Archbishop Abraham as a seminary student in Kotayam. He came to our seminary to celebrate community mass as the young newly appointed Bishop of Kandua. Our rector, Monsignor Sakriya Swarapulli, then introduced him, the youngest Bishop of India, the most zealous missionary of our country. Now I know him very personally. 
I would like to recollect my memories on three of his qualities. Number one, he is a man not of head but of heart. I don't mean that he is not intelligent. <laughs> he is very intelligent. But he is rather a man who thinks with heart. A man who tells his opinion from his heart with lot of love, lot of affection, lot of attachment. I often consider that he is my best friend. But all the bishops of India have the same opinion. He is a friend of everybody. Especially a friend who are in need, who are in necessity. 